my god, I think it impaled it! Hello everyone and welcome to a new Battle Arena Not Ready Showcase video of Dominion! Because, of course, the new update uh, is coming out. I think it's tomorrow when I'm uploading this video. Um, and I have been giving special access to sort of showcase all of the lovely, jubbly, new gifty wifties uh, that's coming. Not only in the DLC, the paid for DLC, I know who will get into that, but also the free DLC, which is coming out as well, uh, alongside with it, which gives a whole bunch of different features. One of them, I, I don't know everything for sure. But uh, I'll definitely showcase one of the things, which is pretty cool. And actually, it was in JPOC. So what do you think? This is the new... I've got to stop talking into the microphone like this, because I end up going... And everyone's ear drums go... Oh! <laughs> and then when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, Jesus. We have the new environment that's coming uh, with the DLC. This being the Biosome... Uh, Biosome? The bi Biodome. Uh, Biosyn Sanctuary, uh, which is set in Italy. Uh, it also comes with this, the research compound that you can click on and it tells you everything like that. You can open the park, you can edit Hyperloop itself, which is the new thing that is how you get power. Now, if you want to just do in Sandbox, uh, the Biosyn only, you can. And this is how you supply power to the rest of the pack. In fact, actually, you know what it is? I didn't even need to do this. In fact, I, yeah, let's just delete this. There we go. Now we've got power all the way back. So our uh, platforms can be viewable. So these are the new sort of viewing platforms that you get to see uh, with the DLC as well. Of course, straight from the movie. Looks really cool. There's like loads of detail here. And especially if there's dinosaurs you can't see, you can now actually have them viewable in like a blueprint. I think that might be part of the free update though. I'm really not too sure about that. I haven't had too much of a play around in it. Uh, so this of course is going to be the whole battle arena area that we're going to be using uh, going here on out to showcase, you know, a battle royale with all the dinosaurs, uh, anything new. We've got all the dinosaurs and skins that are updated in this game as well as this little bit, which I kind of want to showcase some fighting animations. And hopefully my camera doesn't shut off because I've had this problem in the past where um, because I'm doing this on my laptop, I don't actually get to see what my camera's doing. And it has frozen on occasion, so... So here we go! I'm excited! Oh, wow! This thing's huge! You see, everything is bigger in Texas. And that certainly applies to your fossil finds. Oh, this wow. This pterosaur is definitely one for the record books. We're talking about one of the largest flying animals, like, ever. It's not a <laughs> bird, and it's not a plane. It's a Quetzalcoatlus. Damn, wow. Okay, this thing is huge! Oh, 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 nice. Okay, I deliberately put this down because I wanted to see if it did sit. <laughs> it looks so odd. Jesus. I feel like this thing would eat goats. 100% this thing is going to eat goats, right? It's got to. Hell yeah. Okay, well, I need to change a couple of things just to make sure that it does eat. Because at the moment, everything's set to, like, not starve. Oh, here we go. Okay, right. Sorry. Just changed the whole situation with the um the resolution no that was an issue i was like hold on a minute this doesn't seem right <laughs> but we should be okay now oh look at it nom 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 gorgeous so that's how it eats and i mean apart from seeing how it kills people and how it uh it attacks maybe other pteranodons we'll maybe see that later but at the moment i just want to showcase everything that we've got so Apart from the Quetzalcoatlus, we've got Dilophosaur has a new skin. Dimetrodon is, of course, a completely new uh, creature. You've got um, Dreadnoughtus having a new skin. Giga having a new skin. Parasaur actually has three new skins. Uh, Pyraptor, of course, a new creature, has loads of different skins. Uh, Therizinosaurus uh, has, is, uh, like I said, there is an Asaurus, of course, a new creature with loads of different skins. T-Rex actually has two new skins. And there you go, there's loads of Therizin Asauruses. And, oh, that's it. Okay, so how about we showcase, first and foremost, the Dilophosaurus. Hope they shouldn't fight each other. Kind of interested how this one looks. From what I think, it's just going to be like a... Oh, God, of course, it's the, the way the sun's not hitting right. Brilliant. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, looks kind of normal as far as a Dilophosaur goes. Ah, okay, so the pattern is different. It still kind of has it, but 
You've got the uh, the orange crest, which is very Dominion, and the orange frill as well. That speaks to Dominion because I don't think they really ever wanted to change the model of the Dothosaurus. They wanted to bring it back exactly how it is, unlike all the raptors and every other dinosaur in the whole franchise. <laughs> but hey-ho. <laughs> so that's the Dilophosaurus. Nothing really to write home about. When it comes to Dimetrodon, there is, like with every other dinosaur in the game, you have patterns and you have skins. And there's a whole bunch of different varieties of these. Uh, so instead of showcasing every Dimetrodon with every pattern variant, which would be, what, like 13 times 8, so you're talking like 100 and odd different Dimetrodons or whatever, um, I've decided to showcase all the base colors and then put one pattern on them. So these will be all of the colors. And as you can see, oh, that was really nice, actually. Wow. We've decided to hone in on one of the best looking ones so far. What is that one? I finally get it. I finally understand why people have a fear what skin? of the dark. Once you peer Amazon the Rainforest. And see a girl eyes wow. At you, well, you'll be having nightmares for years. That's if you're lucky enough to walk away, because believe me, not everybody is. So I think all of these have lithobates on them. So let's have a look. We can probably just scroll through. We've got Limpopo River. You got Yukon River, which is more of a subdued one. Salva, Salvard, which is white. Uh, Quillian Mountains, which is also another white one, but a little bit different. Look between the two. Yeah, Salvard's more white. And Amazon Rainforest there. So I've managed to luckily get them all in one uh, incubator or one um, hatchery. So here's another batch. Already one. That must be Sonoran something. Oh, wait, that's another rainforest. <laughs> Oops. I might have made two of the same, but hey ho, there it is. Oh, look at you. Were you are you another rainforest? I feel like you are. You're a mangrove. Oh, you look very similar. We got Champlain Valley. Okay, no, I, these are all different. Gambian River Basin and Sonoran Desert. That's the one. And then we got the Amazon over there. Okay, so we've got two left, and this is only two of them, actually. It, yeah, it was quite hard getting them all. I was like, oh, discard eggs. Oh, discard eggs. But that, I mean, right off the bat, like, you can tell that's the Dominion Dimetrodon, and it just looks so good. It looks so good. A great sandy desert with lithobites as well. So I think we've only got one. <laughs> oh, no, there's two. There's two left that I didn't get. Is Yukon River? Have I got that one yet? Also... The weird thing is, these Dimetrodon have um, the same call as the dragon from Age of Mythology. It's so weird. It's the the Nidhogg roar, and I always hear it. It's like when you summon Nid uh, the Nidhogg in, it would kind of make this specific roar, and they've used it for the Dimetrodon. It must be some like royalty-free sound effects or something, but it's... For me, I'm like, yeah, I know exactly what that is. Oh, that's Death Valley. Oh, look at you. What, what, what are you doing? You're not part of the hatchery. Get out of there. Oh, well, there we go. We didn't get much of an introduction because it was already blocked off. But this is the Dread Nautus. Oh, oh, it has really scary eyes. Oh, wow. No, why are you talking about my ass like that? No. <laughs> They said I always had pretty eyes, but look at the size difference between this, this and a dreadnoughtus. This animal, though an herbivore, can intimidate most predators with its size. It's a biggie named dreadnoughtus. Dreadnoughtus. Give this dinosaur a wide berth. Why? Why? It looks fine. It can't move that far either. It's it's completely harmless. Oh, it shut up. Oh no! There is ah! What's going on here? I've just tried to release the Giga and it's like, nah, blocked by a dinosaur, can't do that. <laughs> it's just left the Giga inside the hatchery, what? Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna release the Pyraptor next, because apparently I can't even release the Giga. <laughs> can't release the Giga, and I tried to release the Dreadnoughtus to test it. That didn't even work either, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so, we kind of showcased the Pyraptor in, uh, in the campaign. But now, here it is in the uh, sandbox, or at least with some pattern because it, oh, it looks so much better. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. Yes, that looks awesome. It looked really, really odd last time, but now it looks good. Okay, I'm happy. Oh, look at that pattern on it. That's awesome. So we've still got all of these pirates. So I got, again, one skin, 
with all the different patterns. Oh, that looks so good. The purple looks awesome. It's a shame that we're seeing it from the terrible angle. Why do you do this game? It's like, oh, you want to see dinosaurs? Nah. You want to, like, look at that so much nicer. <laughs> but I guess it depends where you set up your hatcher, I suppose. Maybe that could be a nice angle. It's just whenever I do it, it's always the wrong angle, isn't it? I'll have to double check which uh, which pattern these guys have on them. Okay, why are we always on the wrong side of the bloody thing? Like, look at that! It looks so Ah! Damn this game! And it's weird, like, boing! You hit the hatchery, off you go to space! Right. Oh, that, that's got to be Amazon Rainforest or something, right? Yeah, Amazon Rainforest. That looks so good. So, it is Rana, this, these patterns, actually. Oh, they look great. They are all, however, buggering off in different directions. And again, another... Te oh! Right, I'll just switch the camera to make it look like we can actually see it from a nice angle. Yes. Ooh! Oh, they look so good. I love the pattern. Yeah, do not get them without a pattern. They look horrendous without a pattern. This one's Aquilian Mountains. And the one next to it isn't too bad either. And this one is a... Nope, that's a quality mountain. This one's a great sandy desert. But look at that. It's even changed the... Uh, there's like gray on the face there. That looks awesome. And the final one, I think this is the one that took me ages to get. This is the Yukon River. So it should be a darker one. And again, from a terrible angle. Hold on. I'll switch it up. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Oh, look at the texture. Look at the shimmer on the feathers. This looks so good. Yeah, Frontier, we're working on an engine to re-portray feathers in a realistic way. And look, you can see the individual feathers on there. Oh, where are you off to? You're going for a little run around. But that, that looked amazing. The feather texture on there, that was beautiful. So, we've seen Pyraptor. We haven't seen, we'll save Giga. I've got another hatchery with a Giga. But now, let's do the Therizinosaurus. So again, just like the Pyraptor and just like Demetrodon, these all have their own... Uh, what do you call it? They all have their own, uh, like, uh, pattern, but they've got different base skins. And thank God it works. Oh, there we go. So, ooh. Damn. It's all from a terrible angle. <laughs> Where it's completely dark, but look at... Wow, its claws are very black. Look at that. Oh, but look! It looks so good. It looks like a terror bird, actually. And believe it or not... Those huge claws you see, they actually That's better. That's better. Don't let it near my hair with those things. Oh, he's so funny. <laughs> yeah, this is very terrible esque What is this one? Uh, Death Valley. Ooh. Again, I like the little bit of green there. This could just be the pattern giving the beak a little bit of color as well. That's the one. That's the one. Oh my god, yes! That looks so good! What is it? Great Sandy Desert. Damn! That looks awesome. So everything's gonna have like a hint of yellow on it. Oh! I just... I'm curious now, actually. So depending on which way you click this, the hatchery is which way the animation starts. It could very well be. Ooh! And this one is Chaplain Valley with Lithobites. I always remember Lithobites being quite good, actually. That's why I've chosen. And no, because now we're on the other side of the damn hatchery. Oh, yes, we've got a greeny one there. Looking lovely. Yes. Anyone, any more Therizinosaurus? I think there's probably going to be a fair few. I think I missed a hatchery here. Yes, here's another one. Just kind of curious. We're going to go through them all, but pretty much, apart from the pattern that maybe changes a couple of things, you, you might as well just be playing with a hue and saturation slider when it comes to all the different skins. The paler one. I'm assuming Great Sandy Desert at a push, I'm going to say. No, it's Salvard. But this is the thing, right? For some reason, Salvard is usually white, I think. It's either white or black. I think it's white. But here, in the friggin' Therizinosaurus, it's pink. It's so odd. It's like, what about this is pink? <laughs> I have no idea why they don't just stick to the same name and same color. Because you think, oh, I'm going to get a pink Therizinosaurus. Actually, no, you're not. Because some of them are even... Like, that kind of makes more sense. Aquilian Mountains, it's it's way darker. 
but one of them is like a, a deep purple and I'm not too sure which it is. It's it's kind of interesting because it's got very um, like a baby deer look to it. Yukon River, look at that. Kind of, that's like a purple, a muted purple. But it looks nothing like the actual color itself. It is so odd. We've got the sitting. Oh, hold on. Oh, that was adorable. Oh, it's so sad. Like, yeah, pick your head, yes. <laughs> so we actually got to see it's like interacting animation there. Oh, do they have another one? Oh, 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 no, no. Thought, thought they were going to have one there. Um, have we got any more Therizinosaurus coming out? Or are you just blocking the way so none can get out? I think you probably are. Yes, it is blocked. What about this one? Nope, that's empty. There it is. I don't know what exactly it was waiting for, but it was waiting. Oh, and I went completely blurred. Why? Where did we go blurred? <laughs> well, these, these guys are supposed to be very, not independent, but territorial and not like each other. But here we are. You got, oh, the drinking animation's cool too. Oh, they're talking to each other here. Look at this. Look at this. It is beautiful. I love this environment. It's so adorable. He looks like, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the head switches. Where are you going? I didn't say stop. There we go. Out you come. And there it is. The Jurassic World Dominion 2022 skin, the final one to be released. But speaking of fabulous dinosaurs, here is the new Parasaurolophus. Oh, it looks so good. This is my favorite. This is my favorite skin. I, I, ooh, is it my favorite from the entire DLC? I don't know. It's really hard. It's really hard. I do like it though. I, I love this design, okay, so this man. Next dinosaur. Now, I don't know as to whether they've actually added specific sound effects for this, um, but they don't sound like normal parasaur calls to me. But look at it. It is just so good. The skin, the model. I mean, it's completely new, I think. The, like, the model's new. The skin's new. But look at the textures on there. Oh, my God. It is good. Look at that, man. <laughs> Dude, how could Parasaur not be your favorite dinosaur one? Look at this. It's so adorable. I love him. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> so cute. There you go. Little interaction like that. Very adorbs. But you might think, well, that uh, makes sense. Okay, Parasaurolophus is in the movie, and that's the skin you see, right? But for whatever reason, Frontier were like, one skin's not enough. We need three skins. Now, it could be a case of uh, there's more uh, Dominion Parasaurs in there, like different kind of uh, color schemes. But if there is, well, they've added them all in because this is the same model, but this is variant B. Ah, uh, <laughs> Apart from it, you know, having the same model as the Dominion one, it actually looks very similar to the Lost World para because you've got the backward stripes on the legs there. And also across the spine, you've got that little bit of white as well, which, so this is, it's very inspired by the Lost World para. I do like it, the fact you've got the, you know, the underbeard as well, like the underbelly is lighter, it's darker on top. It's very close to being my favorite. I just like the blue one more. I, I don't know what to say, I just do. It, it's, it's my favorite, I like it, okay. There we go, caught that as it froze. <laughs> right, and the final one, which we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit. Oh no, never mind. It's it's happy to release these guys. The type C para, which takes a bit of both. So let's say you like the color of B, but you like the pattern of A. Here's C. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good, though, man. It looks so good. Look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. But still, I think my favorite, it just hands down, it has to be the blue. Look at it there. It's just so nice looking. Ah, oh, right. Well, if anything, Para got the love in this update, and I don't care. I will happily pay money for more Para skins. Two gigas, two Dominion gigas. Oh, it looks so good. Look at them. <laughs> oh, look at that. They look so cool. And look at the scar. Hold on, we'll pause it there. So there's like scars all over its body. Um, you don't have the cleft lip on the left side of it, but you do have it on the right side, but we're not really going to get a good shot of it yet. There it is. Because the light. Oh, that. 
That was a thumbnail shot. Look at that. That's a thumbnail shot. <laughs> it looks so freaking, so photogenic, aren't you? I want to check out this one. This, or I think, oh, we're hatching two. Oh, interesting, interesting. Here it is. The new Dominion Rexy skin. So what's great about this is if when mods now can come out, they can add more new Rexes and on top of like, you know, the um, the Rexy animation set because this one will be under a whole nother uh, little uh, menu tab and that. Oh, we're going to see an interaction. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, that's glorious. And then... <laughs> oh, look at that. It's beautiful. I haven't seen that since The Lost World. I think that was a new thing they put in for that, right? The the DLC for that? Or maybe it was always in. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh, yes, look at it. It's a feathered friggin' Rexy. <laughs> That's a little mohawk on it. Oh, wow. Look at you. Kind of being, like, scientifically accurate. What's that? You wanted a scientifically accurate Rexy. Well, you've got it right here. We're also going to get the animation as well. That's quite nice. Wow, who would have thought feathers in, like, canon Jurassic? Well, I guess Jurassic World Evolution isn't canon. But, I mean, you know, in a, in a AAA graphical game, we actually get to see feathered dinosaurs. I mean, look, at the, look at the feathers. The way they've got them blurred and stuff. It kind of loses its wow factor when you zoom in a little bit. But from far away... Look at that. I think Pyroraptors look a lot better. Just the way they've got that glossy look to them. And I think it still looks really good. Look at that, man. Feathered T-Rex. Awesome. And our sanctuary is complete. There is an Asaurus roaming about some... Oh, where's that? Oh, it's like, that's, that's a big galley? No, it's another there is an Asaurus. We've got Paras roaming over here. Dimorphodons. No, Dimetrodons. Always get those two mixed up. And Dilophosaurs. That is pretty much all the skins you get when it comes to this game. But there's a couple of things I want to check out just before we, you know, we showcase anything else. And that is over here. So we have strong and we have weak. You know, we'll release a, a strong Therizinosaurus, shall we? And maybe we'll put in a, a weak Giga and, and just see. Oh, now we get a different animation. Oh, we, we can see this one. <laughs> but for whatever reason, with the other one, I couldn't. Oh, wow, look at that. The way the sunlight sword just catching on it. That looks so good. I'm like John Favreau. Backlight is something that works really well. Wait, wait. Oh, that was cool. Oh, look at the power run. Oh, oh, it's it's not. Oh, it's, it's really taking a beating. Look at that go. Wow, I love that they've updated the way the um, the sort of pack hunting goes, that they can actually run away a little bit now. Although, yep, that, that, yep, the power is dead, power is dead. Oh, we've got a scientifically accurate T-Rex taking on the power. Ah! Nom, 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 nom. Don't you love the chaos that ensues? Look at that yellow eye, man. That is very yellow. Oh, well, at least we see, get to see Giga. Oh, God, yep, there it is. I was going to say, we'll get a sea gig at the go, but uh, that was just so quick. I barely even got an angle on that. <laughs> Look at the fog. The fog looks so good. Love the fog. Best thing. Underrated. Underestimated in this entire, like, Dominion DLC is the fog. It is MVP. Look at that for a shot. Oh, the bike comes in from the T-Rex. It looks like the Thera is already taken a hit. Oh, oh the slash from the Thera. <gasps> Who's gonna win? I think Rexy probably attacked first. Yeah, Rexy won. Bye bye, chicken! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the Quetz has gone out! Oh, what the Jesus! <laughs> this is like straight away! I didn't waste any time. Look at this thing. It is ginormous! Is it gonna get another person? Wow! Look at it. Oh, it's gonna land in a building there. Oh, it's gonna get somebody. Oh! Oh! Got another person! Yes! <laughs> it just lands, eats someone, and flies off again. Imagine being in the helicopter. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh my god, it's coming for me! <laughs> this is awesome, man! Look at this! <laughs> it's amazing that you just watch him, like, eat people. Whoa! This is the best ever, man! Look at this! Take him down! 
Oh, oh, and he's gonna go. Uh, wee! <laughs> right, I've released some Tyranodons, and I'm very curious as to how this Quetz is gonna, like, react to them, because it could so easy just, um, and just bite them. Going for another person, huh? Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's got an amazing turning control, though. Wow. Look at in the fog there. Oh, I get another pit. Oh, look at this for a shot. Damn. <laughs> well, we've kind of seen how this one goes. Oh, did he just die? Oh, it lost some health. Oh, okay. It kind of like jumped into the claws and then went, oh. <laughs> oh, no, I just missed it. Giga killed the Thera. No. Okay, here we go. Giga versus Therizinosaurus. Oh, yes, the strong Thera goes for the hit first. Oh, how is this going to go? Oh, Giga gets a bite in. But Thera should win this one. Oh, another slash from the Thera. Could this be it? Could this be the killer blow? Oh, I don't, oh it's not looking so good. Tell me they put in a killing animation. They surely did. No. No. <laughs> right, well, I've put them in a tight enclosure now. Yes, that's right. You did it. You won. So he's not going to be able to get away. Even though he won, the Thera is panicking. Oh, this looks to be it. The final battle. How will it go down? Oh, oh it's another slash from the Thera. I thought that was just going to be a straight up kill. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh my God. I think it impaled it. Yeah, I think it did. Wow. I think we didn't see it from that angle, but it shoved its claw through its head and was just like, ah. <laughs> oh, we need to see that again. Oh, oh, Giga going for the bite first this time. Oh, that's interesting. It shouldn't really have done that, but oh, it goes for a second bite. Is, is Thera going to lose this one? Oh, another scratch from the Thera. But I think the Giga won that one. I, I don't know how, but it did. <laughs> okay, this is it. We're going to see it from this angle, depending on how this goes. I, I, sw I think he's going to stab him through the head. And if he does, it's going to be this angle. Oh, God. Is it? Is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this looks like it. Okay, so we saw it from the other angle. So, are you ready, guys? Here we go. Oh, never mind. It was the other way around. <laughs> Just stabbed it in the neck. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Oh, oh, it's a come to attack me. Run. What I'm curious to see now, actually, and maybe we'll just do this one video that showcases all the animations. I think we're probably going to do that. Let's see if T-Rex and Giga have their own unique animation. Oh, this looks like it. This looks like it's going to be the battle. Right. Is Rexy going to kill it right off the bat? We'll see. Oh, no, no, but it does go for a hit. Come on, please, Frontier. I've given them a unique animation. You know you want to. Ooh, okay, okay. It doesn't look like Rexy got much of a scratch there. Oh, oh, the little, little dancey dance. All right. But is it a unique animation? We're about to find out. Damn. Oh, if only it was. That would have been so cool. Well, on to something else. So it would appear that the Giga basically just has the same animations as it normally does. they are just given another skin. However, we have, like, Therizinosaurus, right? So Therizinosaurus can't have been given anything extra. So that's its kill for a large carnivore. But what about something that's a bit more unique? Something that, you know, it might never have faced up against. An Indoraptor. I really don't know how this one's going to go, but we got a strong Therizinosaurus. Oh, Indoraptor goes first. Wow, okay. But that doesn't mean that it's going to win. Oh, that slapped to shut it down. <laughs> oh, but the kick again on the Thera. Ooh, this will be interesting. Whether the Indoraptor has a unique kill for Therizinosaurus or not. Oh, man, that... It just looks so like, shut up. <laughs> Even though it got the last hit off, it's still lost. Is it going to glitch out again? Or are we going to see Indoraptor actually kill the Therizinosaurus? I haven't got my hopes up. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. What are you doing? Stop it. Just die. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we've seen 
Indoraptor try and kill Thera, but can Indominus Rex actually kill Thera? Ooh, okay, we're going on for a little bit longer than normal. This is interesting. Okay, this is going to be at the third fight, and it, it's going to be an instant lose for Thera's and Asaurus. Surely it's on 30%, Indo's on 100. Uh, oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Oh, my Thera is so bugged at the moment. <laughs> I just want to show, like, maybe it has a unique animation. It really didn't look like it, though. It looked like Indominus was just going to, like, hit it from the side anyway and probably kill it. And possibly that's what Indoraptor would do as well. It's just like they haven't matched that at the moment. So there's that. Oh, oh. Yes, I thought, I thought there was going to be something there. The way just sort of bit it and flipped it, that looked beautiful. I think out of all of them, the Quetzal doesn't seem to work the best as far as animation goes. Even though there is an Asaurus literally has some that, <laughs> that don't like just turn it off and then it pops dead. But this one, um, yeah. Oh, and another one. <laughs> that sound, man. <laughs> Well, it shows that at least it takes two hits for a uh, Quetzal Quetzal. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I was gonna say the Quetzal to break out, but oh, no, there it goes. Just having a lovely stroll and then, whoa, before you know it, numbed on and eaten whole before it takes off again. Oh, wouldn't that just be terrifying? Just one moment you're gone, next moment also the thing's gone as well as you. Okay, a 42% now. 42. Come on, this is an instant kill. Come on, just kill each other. Just do it. No, you're doing the weird thing again. No, stop, no. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some glitch. Uh, they've obviously got some, maybe a unique kill animation, but because there's there's some patch that still needs to be put into the game, when the Therizinosaurus is going to kill the Indoraptor, it just can't seem to make the... It's like pushing two magnets together. They just don't seem to work. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there because I don't really know how much else I can show you with Therizinosaurus bugged out the way it is. It does have one animation working at the moment. I'm hoping at release they'll fix it. I mean, they will fix it. They're not... This is Frontier we're talking about. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.